some wild goats up there. Bah! Bah! We're having a conversation. Why is he shy? It's like the WB for... There he goes. Bah! He wants to come say hi. We'll come. We'll see him in a minute. Looking for those goats. I hear them. They might be sheep. I think they're sheep. This is super cool. Is my photography technique of going into a calm freediving state. I can't get excited. Use my heart rate lowering techniques with breath work and meditation to clear my mind and they will reflect it. Oh, I think they're sheep. Yeah, not goats. They're goats, not sheep. Okay, there. Bring the baby. from the mom she's coming dude they're everywhere up here I gotta go get Agatha and tell her not sure how the splitting off is gonna go I'm not gonna just leave her out here uh, 
yeah, I don't know. But I still wanted to see goats and I still care about her, so. Yep. Friendship isn't always easy. Headed down the mountain, back to the road, hitchhike towards the town. See where the day brings us. We're about to get a ride from this person. They don't know it yet. They don't know it. Oh, maybe, maybe, nope, nope. Oh well. You want to ride? <laughs> Maybe yes, it might please. be good to put your stuff. A few years ago, I had two and a, two and a half years break, uh -huh. and I did have uh, an alien lunch. Yeah, really nice. That's yeah. not apparently how Hawaii used to be like 60 years ago. Yes, yes. Right. And then out here, in... we got a ride. Headed up the volcano. What's your name? Denny. Thank you, Denny. Yeah, no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the people here on Maui. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. You make me feel very blessed. What's it called? Makawao Forest. But there's a, on Olinda, there's an Olinda Forest at the top. It's a, more, it's a bit of a drive to get to the top. Um, and what is Makawao? Makawao is, it's a town, but it's kind of like a rodeo town. There's nice. A of, there's actual rodeos there every now and then on the weekend. What? Oh, I'm going. Um, yeah, and there's you know a lot of horses and ranches and a lot of cattle, goats, things like that. It's similar like to here? this. Yeah, just like this, but yeah. it reminds me of Mukwai from Gremlins. I think that's the name of the creatures before they were turned into Gremlins. Oh, uh, Mukwai's now. Mukwai, yeah. Mukwai, yeah. I think so. Mukwai. Yeah. Something. <laughs> similar, yeah. I'm weird. Sorry. So you live down there, and now you're heading. I'm helping a friend move, okay. uh, so yeah, I'm helping some days on the side of the road driving up country here. Wow. Uh, there's jacaranda trees a certain time of year that just pop purple, the whole tree is purple. And they're all along this road because uh, a certain mayor back in the day or whatever convinced the, uh, the whoever was in charge of building the road to plant these trees all along it. So I have all these beautiful colors when you drive by. Yeah, there's artists that will just paint these trees from up here or upcountry scenes. The bank I went in right before picking you guys up, actually, first Hawaiian or the one right by Subway down there from Bolani. Yeah. Had beautiful paintings on the wall, and I commented on them, and they were mostly of just scenes of upcountry. Cool. Things like that. Yeah, my, my father used to come here, and he'd live off uh, his paintings and surf and fish and eat the fish. And, yeah, absolutely. And not that I'm trying to do it as a career path, but I kind of try to get in touch with my father because he passed a long time ago and so I'm gonna try to do that just to be able to like finally let go of a painting I've never been able to let one go oh I see yeah that. so I've been learning to let go in life the past couple years and now I want to do art you know and kind of in my father's name and sell it and let go and see if it helps with any like emotional blockages that help maybe with processing stuff that we don't realize it exists it's my current path so thank you for the information yeah. Oh, I got my, uh, or your old, the spot that I'm going to be dropping you off is going to be coming up here in just a okay. couple minutes. And then that's, you'll see there's a sign that tells you about, you know, the turn for Haleakala and stuff. So if you're trying to get all the way to the top, that's the road you want to go. Great. Great. Yeah, we haven't waited more than 15 minutes yet for a ride, except for like some spots where there's just no cars. Yeah, hitchhiking's still pretty alive and well here, you know. <laughs> that's awesome. A lot of places, it's kind of shot. Yeah. The, would that be the, the uh, That's the road. That's the road that yeah. close to Kula Botanica Garden. Exactly. Okay. Very wide. 